the jab, the longest, the hook, the medium, the upper, the closest. My leg, hip, and shoulder at the same time. Chin down, and my other hand up. I want to get in, turn my shoulder. So depending on the distance, if it's a longer distance, I can turn more, but I open myself to kick. Get in. There's, there's more opportunities for him to punch me, to kick me. Uh, you push your shoulder a little bit forward because you want to attack the head. Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. So today we're going to see a little bit on the boxing side again. Uh, lead punches, it's the jab, the hook, or the upper. How to use your lead hand to close distance. We're going just sort the of normal way with the mitts. So in this, you just have your mitts up. I bring my hand up and turn my leg, hip, and shoulder at the same time. Keeping my chin down and my other hand up. At the end, I want to rotate my wrist. So here, and keep a little distance. But to get more power, you want to bend your knees a little bit. If you're too tall, you don't have much distance to turn your body. Here, there's just as much distance to turn. Well, in here, I have way longer distance. By making myself a little bit shorter, I have a longer reach. Don't get too low either, in a point where you can't use your legs. You want to find a good distance. You want boxing, of course you can go lower, but if you go for kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, you want right distance where you can punch, kick, knee, elbow, whatever your weapons are. So, now, the jab, it's mostly to keep the distance. I want to try different angles, one time to the left side, one time to the right side, but make sure you keep your hands up and you step at the same time. There, one. Hey, here. Now, we'll see it from this angle. Step and step. Yeah. Step and step. Step and step. It's important, first the legs and then the punch. Once you get really used to it, you can do it at the same time. But for beginners, you always want the legs first. All the power will come from the legs. So here, step, step, jab. Step, step, jab. Step, step, jab. Step, step, jab. Now, we're going on the hook. So for the hook, I want a little bit closer. My jab is my longest punch. So for the hook, I want a little bit closer with my legs. Turn my shoulder just a bit, depending on the distance. If it's a longer distance, I can turn more, but I open myself to kicks. So you have to, to see whether if you're using it for attacking or for countering. First, defend a kick and then attack, that's great. You can do it from a longer distance. If you try to attack and then they kick you, most of the time you will get hurt. So if you want to attack with it, you want to get closer first. And then hook. Closer hurt. Hook. Closer. Ah. Ah. Now, both this way and this way are good. This is good for the jaw. This is good for the chin. Yeah. From here. Same thing, I want to get in. Turn my shoulder, hook. Get in. Now for the rotating one. You turn it just at the end. Don't try to turn first, because a lot of the times it will bend your wrist in a bad way, so. Here to get them up, go in a straight line, and at the end, once you get contact, that's when you turn the wrist. Yeah. 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 
here. Now the last one, uppercut. This is the closest one. Again, you can use any of these punches in many different ranges. But for beginners, it's good to think of this. The jab, the longest, the hook, medium, the upper, the closest. So here, I want to get as close as possible. Again, I open with my shoulder and go with my legs a little bit up, shoulder up. Now, it's important. I see a lot of people doing like this going towards himself. It's not like that. You push your shoulder a little bit forward because you want to attack the head. If you go like this, you're missing the target most of the time. Again, it's really important to get a little bit closer to get that upper. If I go from here, again, there's there's more opportunities for him to punch me, to kick me, uh, to knee me and clinch with me. I open a lot, so there's moments when you want to do that, but for general purposes, try to get close first and then upper. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you want to check more of this kind of tutorials, we'll be trying to post every week. So subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Us.